Ya Last year, I went to South Africa. I visited this village called Easy Tumba in the Valley of a Thousand Hills. It's almost 10,000 kilometers away from where I live. So a good question would be, why, Bruno? Why? Well, skateboarding. That's why. There are a ton of reasons why one may start skateboarding. Because it's fun, it's cool, it's a nice way of transportation. But there is this one thing that isn't really a common reason to start skateboarding. And it's definitely not something you think about when you decide to spend time on a piece of wood. I really only noticed this after years of skateboarding. It's something that makes skateboarding even more awesome than it already is because I think that the most underrated reason to start skateboarding is traveling. So my trip to South Africa was a really big adventure, but I still have quite some unseen footage and untold stories about it. A couple days ago I went through this footage, just checked it out, and then I figured I just couldn't let all this amazing footage stay on my laptop. So that's why I decided to upload this video, and I'm sure this also shows why traveling is the most underrated reason to start skateboarding. You should start skateboarding for the fun of it, but boy, traveling because of skateboarding sure is a lot of fun. So it all started when I saw this short film on YouTube about how skateboarding is changing lives in rural South Africa. I thought it was a really amazing short film. I thought it was so amazing that I decided to do some research. I uh, found out that there was a guy that was running this skate park in this short film and it was in this rural village called Easy Tumba in South Africa. I called him up. I asked him if I could come and visit and three weeks later I was on an airplane flying out to that place simply because I had just seen this YouTube video because of skateboarding. This was also at the time I had just started doing YouTube myself so that's why I still have so much footage of the place. I got picked up from the airport by the guy who owned the skate park. His name is Dallas. Dallas. Bruno. <laughs> nice to meet you man. I made it. I made it. I'm here. He's originally from Joburg, but he told me that he created Indigo Skate Camp about 15 years ago and that he just fell in love with the village there. He's uh, been building parks since he was 16 and he decided to uh, build one there to help out the kids in the village. So we then were riding in his car and then he asked me if I wanted to take a more rural road to the skate park instead of the highway. I don't know, I just couldn't say no. It was a pretty crazy experience because I had just gotten out of the plane and we were going through this super rural road which uh, wasn't even an official road so at one point he uh, lost track. <laughs> So eventually it was starting to get dark and we had to go through some serious water to get to the skate park. Oh shit. <laughs> Are you just gonna go for it? All right. Luckily, Dallas was a really good driver, so uh, we did arrive.
The skate park was in this really rural village and for me it was quite a special experience. Together with Dallas and a volunteer from Cape Town we slept in this South African tiny house with a corrugated sheet roof. What was so special about the village is that it was definitely poor, not very developed, but it was quite safe. It was peaceful and everyone in the community knew each other. That being said, it was also still South Africa, not a gated community. It was the real deal. Anytime something crazy would happen, Dallas would say TIA, which uh, stands for This is Africa. And by that, he just meant that things were wild out there. It's still Africa place where you'd have to watch out for snakes whenever you visit a toilet, place where you had to chase away goats in the morning, where people were selling fruits and veggies next to the highway, place where I'd seen people put their cars on the exit of a highway to take a piss, where the taxi drivers had to honk to move away cows, place where people unfortunately threw their garbage into nature because there was no service for that. This all covered by the term TIA. This is Africa. So the skate park consisted out of a big wooden ramp, a concrete bowl and a wooden deconstructed third ramp. Now the only skatable thing when I was there was the concrete bowl area. I stayed there for a month and helped out working on the wooden big ramp. We have the bowl right here. That's the ramp we're working on. We got a broken mini ramp and a deconstructed third ramp. That one ramp needed repair, so Dallas and his team decided to deconstruct the third ramp to repair the big wooden ramp. His team mostly consisted out of 2-3 people only, and that was including me. So lots of the time the local kids like to help out as well. And here you can see the kids uh, helping putting on the skate light. They're literally building their own skate park here, how dope is that? That's some TIA for ya. Because of his small team though, this whole process was already taking over two years, so I just arrived when this process was almost done. <laughs> almost every day we worked on the ramp. The usual day started with waking up, breakfast, sweep the possible goat poop. That's our cat Meow. Right Meow? It's a really cute cat. <laughs> Don't let this cat fool you though, because this one was born in the skate park. It had already killed a forest cobra and it was just two months old. It was also able to climb trees, so uh, definitely not your ordinary house cat. After dealing with the goat poopies, we uh, could work on the ramp. So then around 4 o'clock the kids started to show up, we uh, would give them the boards. I helped teaching the kids how to skate and then the daily program would start. It was quite special because Dallas really tried to learn these kids more than just skateboarding. The schools weren't that good around there so every day he had also planned some other activities around skateboarding. For example, one day there was arts and crafts and uh, on that day the kids got the opportunity to be creative. Hi everyone! My name is Otto, my son is Macho Adam. I'm here to skate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi. My name is my name is Rasta. Yeah. I live skating. Yeah. <laughs>